like below this is I'm gonna borrow this but you need to fill this in OBS studio different streams you can like recommend the poll the link channel video playlist then we're gonna go over to the live control room and right here is everything that you want to check out like how everything is going so as you guys can see it says of course it says no data <laughs> What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to a brand new OBS tutorial and in this, in this video as you guys can see no face cam because it is a little bit easier for me because it is just you know about like what you can do in OBS studio instead of like myself in the like in the screen as a face cam so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to live stream on YouTube so if you missed last week's OBS studio tutorial or I showed you guys how to stream on Twitch make sure to go ahead and check out the description you can find the link there uh, so first of all what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go over and make a stream so I'm gonna show you guys how to you know stream on uh, YouTube using OBS studio I made an event just in test of course so basically what you want to do is you want to create an event as you can see right there so I'm just, I'm, I just made one as you guys can see it is test as you can also at the right uh, it is unlisted of course because it's for the purpose of this video then basically we're gonna go over everything you need to know to get started streaming on YouTube so as you guys can see this is just a test it's like the begin page where you can choose the title uh, the time the description um, the privacy of the video public unlisted private and the tag so nothing too special about that so uh, basically the next tab is advanced settings so you of course this is a live stream you can enable live chat of course that's pretty obvious right the category is what you want to do or like are you going to game on YouTube are you just going to uh, do comedy stuff or education or tutorials how to whatever uh, right here you can also do the monetization and I would you know suggest you know uncheck non skippable ads because people want to see live streams because it's live they want to see it immediately if they need to watch an ad for like 20 seconds they cannot skip they're going to you know just like dude screw this I'm out of here as you guys can see this may increase viewer abandonment so that's basically one thing I'll always uncheck this one uh, for live streams because you cannot skip it and people will get tired of it so the next thing you can also enable sponsored cards or skippable video ads you can also uh, you know keep those two on so you want to click on save changes and then we're going to go over to the ingestion settings and right here you can choose the quality and everything so of course like very standard you can choose a thumbnail right here so in most cases it is just a stream thumbnail in my case I'm going to click on open and as you guys can see we have the regular thumbnail that I always use for streams and right here you want to choose the quality so basically you want to do a speed test and in order to you know stream at HD the minimum you need is 2.5 upload so what you want to do is you want to base you know, your upload on this so let's say you, if you have 2.5 you want to pick this one because 2.5 is between 1500 and 4000 if you have like 3500 like if you have like 3000 like 3 uh, upload or, or above you want to pick this one because 3 is between 3000 and 6000 so I'm like in most cases in my case it is like just a maximum I have like 18 upload so I'm, doing, I'm just going to pick the highest possible. You can enable 60 FPS if you want to, if you want to do that. But that's just like a personal. I would only like suggest you know enable this for gaming if you're in a game. And then if you scroll like below, this is I'm gonna blur this, but you need to fill this in OBS Studio. So right here you can see that you that we have um, like the stream name, the primary server URL, and the backup server URL. So of course I'm going to blur everything. But what you want to do is you want to go over to OBS Studio and you want to go over to the file settings tab and you want to go over to stream so right here uh, what you want to do is you want to pick in the service you want to pick YouTube slash YouTube gaming right here that you know the, the server is just a primary YouTube engine server nothing special about that and you want to fill in the stream key you're going to go back to YouTube and you want to pick this one stream name you want to just con press control C and you just want to go back to OBS studio and you want to fill in stream key right there and you want to click on apply and click on OK. So once you filled in this key, uh, you're actually pretty much good to go. I mean, the only thing you need to do is just click on Apply, click on OK, and I would say you're done for that part. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go back to YouTube for a second. And as you guys can see, and also you can go over to Cards, you can um, like pick a card if you want to like recommend different streams. You can like recommend the poll, the link, the channel, video, playlist. Then we're going to go over to the Live Control Room, and right here is everything that you want to check out, like how everything is going. So as you guys can see, it says, of course, it says no data, uh, like you know, because I'm not streaming. So you want to just turn on OBS. Then it, this will show the status, like if it's going to be good. It's going to be green if the if the quality is a little bit you know sloppy it's going to turn orange if the quality is bad well the, the connection is bad it's going to turn red so in most cases it should be green and then basically as you guys can see right here also if you want to just press on the preview 
what you want to do is you can insert ads so you can actually like like literally not like play an advertisement live you can just click on insert it's not clickable because I'm not streaming uh, but you want to also make sure that your preview is running I would say then you just click on insert ad and that's how it works so right here you will see like the amount of viewers also uh, at, the, at the right how long you're streaming peak you know like the, at the most people watching at, the, at, at one time I think you are done I mean uh, you can like choose like this broadcaster has cancelled the event like if you're going to offline you can just click on real be right back please stand by so you can actually like let's say if you're like disconnected like from your network or the connection is too bad it will say we'll be right back please stand by so people will not leave because you're offline for a second so that's really handy so as you guys can see you can also go to the watch page and this stream is not going to happen of course but it's just like the timer as you can see it's a countdown um, until the counter is basically you know you know counting until the stream is starting so you can go back to the uh, the live control room and that's how you stream on YouTube guys it is that simple using OBS you can just go over to OBS file settings streaming and then pick you know the only thing you need to do in OBS studio is you know play as a, st is, is a stream key you can get from YouTube click on OK and you want to click on start streaming so it is that simple guys so I want to thank you guys for watching that's it for this OBS tutorial and uh, thank you for liking and commenting on this video if you want to see more of this OBS tutorials every Thursday at 4.30 p.m. PST make sure to smash the like button down below thank you guys for four thousand subscribers it's crazy guys I'm not sure like where this is going to end I can I cannot think guys enough so thanks again for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for the support and I will see you guys tomorrow for two videos one Sony Vegas tutorial and one extra video so I will see you guys tomorrow just Alex Halford <laughs>